Hello, it's Grammy from Grammy and Grandpa Reads. And today I'm gonna read you Curious George Apple Harvest because it's fall and this is when we harvest the apples. Um, I wanna remind you to subscribe to our channel and make sure you watch till the end so you know what happens. Okay, it says, the harvest, it's harvest time and Mr. Renkins needs help picking his apples. George and his friend, the man with the yellow hat, were happy to lend a hand. Do you see him picking the apples? Or foot. <laughs> Mr. Rinkins explained that they need to collect every apple. I'm going to join the Mrs. Uh, round back, he said. Once you fill that cart, could you unload it into the washing trough? Mr. Rinkins took his cart full of apples to the barn and dumped them into the water. It must have, it must be their bath time, George thought. See, they're in the bath. George climbed up the branches, collected the shiny red apples in his friend's hat, and put them into the cart. Uh, what fun high up in the trees. He saw jumpy squirrels picking apples too. George decided to help. He took Jumpy's apple and tossed it into the cart with the rest of, of Mr. Rankin's apples, but Jumpy wanted that apple for himself. He leaped into to take it back and George tried to stop him. What do you think is gonna happen? Oh, that's what I thought. He tipped it over. Easy now, George. That lever releases all the apples, said the, his friend. George looked at the lever. He, he thought it was an excellent way to get Jumpy out of the cart. George, no! George pulled the lever and Jumpy tumbled out along with all the apples. That's okay, said his friend with a sigh. We can gather them up again. But Jumpy had found his apple and he ran to hide it in the barn. George decided to follow. George looked around the inside of the barn in wonder. There were all sorts of things to climb on and swing from. It must be some kind of monkey playground, but George was not here to play. He had to get that apple from Jumpy. If only it weren't so dark in the barn, he found the light switch and flipped it on. Everything moved. It was a machine, not a playground. George wondered how it worked. He watched the buckets scoop up the apples. He decided they must carry the apples high away from squirrels. But wait, where was Jumpy? There he was. Jumpy still had the apple. He took from the cart. George chased Jumpy, grabbed the apple, and threw it into the bin high out of reach. Suddenly, the machine stopped. George found a button and pushed the, the machine started again. This time, all the parts started working, including the moving belt. But when he looked up, he saw all of the Rankins' beautiful apples being chopped to bits. Um, the chopped up apples dropped into the giant barrel and the lid lowered tightly on top of them. Too tightly, liquid began to pour out of the bar barrel. What a mess. George had an idea. He ran and put his mouth under the liquid and it tasted good. A lot, a lot like apples, but there were too much of it. Luckily, he saw some empty containers. George scrambled to put the containers on the moving belt fast enough to catch the liquid. Then looked down at the end of the bell and saw that the containers falling off onto the floor. Oh no, George ran to catch them and then he needed to stop the machine. 
Soon he had filled all the containers, but the golden liquid continued to pour out. He looked around for other containers and saw a big pair of rubber boots. As, as the last boot was filled, the liquid stopped pouring out and the machine stopped. Whew! The farmer and George's friend appeared in the doorway. Well, I'll be, Mr. Rankins exclaimed. George froze. The Rankinses would surely be upset that he had ruined all the apples. George, Mr. Rankins rushed up to him. You've done a fantastic job. All that cider already pressed and bottled. Thank you. <laughs> Um, this is some machine, said the man with the yellow hat. See, the apples are washed here, Mrs. Rinkins explained. Then they're lifted up into the chopper because uh, chopped apples give you more juice. The, ch the juice is pressed out of the apples and then bottled. George had not ruined the apples after all. He had turned them into cider. Uh, Mr. Rinkins handed an apple to George. Here, you've earned it, he said, and George knew some someone who wanted the apple more than he did. He had enough apples for one day. Okay, this is, just talks about what the assembly line does. That was what that machine was. It's called an assembly line. And um, isn't that interesting how they make the cider out of the apples? Have you ever had apple cider? I like it when it's warm. Um, like on Halloween, you have some warm cider. Um, I hope you like the book. Please subscribe to our channel and like the video.